we want to determine the limit as x approaches positive four of the quantity four minus x divided by the quantity square root x minus two. To determine this limit means to find the value this function approaches as x approaches four from the left side and the right side. In order for this limit to exist, that function value must be the same as we approach four from the left and from the right. Notice if we try to find this limit by performing direct substitution, we would have zero divided by zero, which is an indeterminate form of a limit. So to see if this limit exists, let's start by graphing our function. Well, here's the graph of the function. Here's x equals four. So notice as we approach positive four from the left side and the right side, we are approaching the same function value and therefore this limit does exist. It also appears this limit is going to equal negative four, even though notice how there's a hole at x equals four, which means this function is undefined at x equals four. But to find this limit analytically, we'll have to manipulate this function so that we can find this limit by using direct substitution. And we can do this using a factoring technique or by rationalizing the denominator. In this video, we'll take a look at both methods. Let's first take a look at the factoring method. To use this method, we should first recognize that, notice how the numerator has the constant followed by the variable, and the denominator has the variable followed by the constant. So we're gonna change the order of the terms in the numerator, and we're also gonna factor out a negative or a negative one. So we'd have the limit as x approaches four of negative, and then the quantity positive x minus four, Notice how we still have a positive four and a negative x, as we do in the original function. We'll go ahead and leave the denominator the same. We have the square root of x minus two. Now even though it doesn't look like it, we can write x minus four as a difference of squares because the square root of x squared is equal to x and two squared is equal to four. So now we'll write this as the limit as x approaches four negative and then the square root of x squared minus two squared. And then we still have this all over the square root of x minus two. And now we'll factor the numerator. We'll have the limit as x approaches four. We'll have one factor of the square root of x plus two and one factor of the square root of x minus two. So here are the two factors from the difference of squares. In our denominator, we still have one factor of the square root of x minus two. But notice how now that we factored the numerator, we can see we have a common factor of the square root of x minus two here and here, which simplifies to one. So now we have the limit as x approaches four of the opposite of the square root of x plus two. And now we can perform direct substitution to determine our limit. We would have the opposite of the square root of four plus two. And since the square root of four is equal to two, we have the opposite of positive four or negative four as our limit, which is what we saw from the graph. Now the second method involves rationalizing, in this case, the denominator. So let's go ahead and show that method as well. To rationalize the denominator, we're gonna multiply both the numerator and denominator by the conjugate of the denominator which would be the square root of x plus two. Now when we find this product, we're gonna multiply the denominator, but we'll leave the numerator in factored form. But just as we did when we were factoring, we do wanna change the order of these two terms and then factor out a negative or a negative one. So we'd have negative and then a positive x minus four times the square root of x plus two and now for the denominator, we'll have four products. The first product is the square root of x times the square root of x, which is x. And then we have square root of x times two, that's plus two square root x. Then negative two times square root x, that's minus two square root x. And then finally, negative two times positive two, that's minus four. Now we can simplify the denominator because these two terms are opposites. So now we have the limit as x approaches positive four of negative, the quantity x minus four, the quantity square root of x plus two, 
And notice how the denominator simplifies to one factor of x minus four. So in this form, once you rationalize the denominator, notice how we have a common factor of x minus four. Therefore, this simplifies to one, leaving us with the limit as x approaches positive four of the opposite of the square root of x plus two. Notice how this limit here is the same limit we had here in blue. So now if we perform direct substitution, we'll have the same limit. We'll have the opposite or negative square root of four plus two. The square root of four is equal to two, so we have negative four again. So notice how whether we factor or rationalize the denominator, the limit is going to be the same. And going back to our graph just for a moment, we can tell from our graph that as we approach positive four from the left and the right, the function value is approaching negative four. Okay, I hope you found this example helpful.